Yeah, I think you deserve it. You're so, a good, you're a good boyfriend. You deserve it. Mm-hmm. You okay, don't be on I'm no a, shit. You I'm don't a, be on no shit. I know. I'm gonna work towards trying to have some yeah. me and my and friends. And it's so I'm sorry. Let me so, you love me so much. You want to be with me? I want to be with you too. <laughs> but you get on my fucking nerves sometimes. Oh really? Yeah. Like, Jay, you this hit, hey, yo. Because you know Jay gonna stop playing. Like you know what I'm saying? We get to All Star. Like yeah, it's kind of like you know he brought his. Prize possession out here too. So like now he gotta protect me and I kinda gotta stay up under Jay's arm because you know I'm not really a bitch you could let out the house by herself all the time. Not because of my misbehaving, but like, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't feel like I gotta like protect you though. So what you be doing then? No, I protect you, but I'm saying like I don't you feel, feel like, like. Do you feel like you got to mark your territory? In, like no. Nah. Yes, he does. I don't, don't you lie? Mo's been with us all weekend. Don't you fucking lie? So tell you the think, truth. So, so I'm. So it's, I'm, it's I'm, natural. I, I I'm very like territorial. Like, so I, 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 Jay has I, I, been very, very territorial. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very territorial, so I can understand. I am too, but I don't think <laughs> I. Have, <laughs> like I'm just. I'm just trying to answer it the way I can answer it. I don't think that I have to mark my territory because, like, I just feel like I'm me. Like, I know what's up with me and the niggas around me. Like, you know how what, what Jay-Z say? Or uh, I think you say Yo Gotti say, like, I can walk into the room and know who a millionaire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I even speak. Yeah. So, like, me, I feel like my energy speaks for itself. And right, I feel like a lot it? of people can say that. So, it's like, if you with me, the niggas going to know what's up. You know what I'm saying? And if they don't know, they'll find out. So, I don't really have to mark my territory. Like, mm. the things that I... <clears throat> Like the thing, the things that I like. Talk that shit, man. I like when I like when you talk like that. (laughs) Period. (laughs) They in the back, like period, Jay. So nah, so it's like nah, so for real. So it's like um, the things that I've been doing is because I really want to. Like even like with me posting the shit on Instagram, like my bitch is bad. Like, but I say these things when I'm home. Like I don't have to. No, but I'm not. Why are you so upset? No, I'm not. No, that's what you said to me. That's how you said. Yeah. Nah. I get it, babe. I was fucking with you. Yeah, I don't think I have to mark my tattoo. What is what is marking your territory anyway? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> how, that's wasn't. a good question. How, okay, so like territory? one example would be like every time Jay and I walk through a door and it's mad fucking people. As soon as I walk through, pow! Damn that ass, fat yeah, girl. Look at that so, ass. I'd be like, oh my god, everybody's hmm. staring. Stop it! So you think I do that intentionally? No, it's I'm you joking. literally say every time walk walk through we, a but door. You do that. I'm people. not saying you're doing it. You do have an intention. I'm not saying it's so the do wrong that. one. No. I'm not saying which side of the intention. I don't know. No, you but said. I'm just saying that's what you do. No, hold up. Hold I up. think that's marking territory, like, but I like it. It's cute. I be a little shy sometimes. I ain't mad. I'm just saying. So again, you said I do it when we walk through a door and mad people in there, right? Yeah. Do I not do that when we home by ourselves? Yeah, I never said you didn't. Mm. So if that's who I am, then that's not me marking. I'm not right, doing that fair. because people are here. Like that's fair just enough. who I am. I smack your ass when by myself. Fair you always like, Jay, but stop it's been my a little so excessive on the trip. Hey, I've smacked your ass in the house yeah, you all have. the time. And you be like, you keep smacking in the same place. You never said that when we. I didn't say that. I never said I didn't. So However, how has it I been excessive? Okay, maybe I'm it's asking. Not. Maybe maybe we. These, it's just been a lot of doors we walked through this weekend, so it seems like <laughs> hey, more. Yo. <laughs> That was good. That was good. That, that was, was good. good. She's, yeah, that was, that was a good one. You know so, what question. What, like, <laughs> if you have different spending habits for trips, because mm-hmm. cause we all spend differently. What the fuck is a different spending habit in on a trip? Well, that's the question. Well, every trip a little different. Have? Okay. Every trip always going to be different. Okay. Because some trips you got a plan, like, say you're going to work. It ain't no vacation, so you know you probably gonna do a little things different when you really trying to take a vacation. Like now nah, we on vacation now, you know you probably save differently. You probably did stuff like you know last minute trips like for work and things like that. You probably ain't really thinking like boom, I'm about to. I'm trying to go with the intent to spend mad bread. Like yeah, I'm gonna spend what I need to spend on, and I'm gonna get this work done. And you know, so I think they really depend on the trip. Like it really do. I don't think it's really no spending habit or on a trip. Yeah, I just feel like I'm going to have fun. Mm-hmm. So hopefully I'm in a position to be able to do whatever I want to do to have fun. And if not, then then we can have that conversation and be like, you know what? Uh, maybe we shouldn't do this or maybe yeah. we should be light on it. But mm-hmm. if we don't, I just feel like and that's that's normal. Like for, for any of us, like if we don't have it, then we know we can't do it. If that makes sense. right? But I feel like, I don't know. Like I said, I still think it's different depending on what you're doing. Because I feel like, for example, for a birthday trip, you already know you're going. So you're going to prepare for that exact trip for So it ain't like I like. 
But that's what I'm saying. Like so you blew be, like ten bands on my birthday. Like I know what you, I know what you're mine. But when you say yeah, but when I, but that's what I'm saying. But like a work trip is different because it's like, like even if you were, I don't think even, like I feel like even with small trips, you should set a small budget because I just feel like. Mm. It ain't no need to go crazy on trip like with a certain purpose. Like if we're gonna work, like yeah, we're gonna go have fun. But I don't think you're you were never like let's go have fun on a trip. You like I gotta work, but it happened to turn out fun because like we got people here. You got your line brothers here. You got folks pulling up. Like you know what I'm saying. So it turned out fun. But your first instinct was like I gotta go to work, right? Right. And we you know what I'm saying. I gotta make it work, and we gotta make the podcast work. So you wasn't like damn like. You know, like months ago, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this is coming up. I'm about to, no, because that it's a work trip. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like, for example, when we, you know, going out of town to really go out of town, you like, nah, like I'm putting this up for that month for this. So mm. you gone with a different intention to spend a different way. Like, you nice. know what I'm saying? So that's why I feel like it's just different. Like, wow, yeah. Wow, you you think you had to have a? Uh, I was gonna say is like because I was just wondering because you, you have, have a girlfriend a now, and like like uh, like kill like let's kill the hypotheticals right, and right, the, right, right. the, nah, the, 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 the in, in general questions like how nigga yeah when you tell me like do you do you have a different spending habit than, than your woman when y'all going out and things like that and does that get in the way of of, of you she Alex? She hasn't spent. Why we've been down here. Ooh, okay. I mean, he's I, a I, man. Me either, girl. Yes, tell me either, girl. You that, look a that, penny. That's why I was saying. Like, oh, you a man, man. Nah, nah. nah. Oh, y'all are men, man. You take care of home. You a man, man. I, I'm taking notes, bro. I'm like, oh, look, look. God. Hey, I'm trying to be like Thank the hell you. when I go I think the only thing, <laughs> I think the only thing I bought this week was a Starbucks coffee. But, nah, seriously. Uh, but it's a matter of Five dollars. I feel like it, it was like knowing like mindedness. Look, like, even Monique you know. didn't spend yeah, on this motherfucker. Hold on. Wait, all the bitches in the house ain't spend no money? Oh, wow. It, we love it here. We fucking love it here. Look, look at it. Look. <laughs> what a motherfucking dollar, bitch. Like, nah. I, bought, I bought a $4.99 Starbucks coffee. Hey, I feel like. <laughs> wow. I feel like we had to prepare. You know what I'm saying? I had that discussion before we left and it was like, all right, bet. So mentally, that's why I was going to ask y'all, like, what do y'all discuss before y'all y'all go on a trip? Because we talked and, then, you know, uh, right. it's set, I could set things in order so that when we get down here I, our, everything is lined up I and it's like still, our bet. it's so crazy because i still de- think it depends on the type of trip we're going on Facts. because i feel like you know something like random like mm. we might like let's do a random you know fly out random like but we really just going to get away then i think like we both should talk about what's expected like oh no like babe what you think we what we trying to do when we get out there like oh you know i just want to get you know we just need to get a hotel a rental car and we're gonna eat out a couple places then it's like all right well you know what I'm saying? I did. I don't know. Like I'm the type of girl. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm like, all right. Well, if Jay done got this, and I'm like, oh well, I'll get this. Like you know what I'm saying. Unless he's just adamant, like, nah, you good. Like you know mm. what I'm saying. So like, if he like, nah, you good. I got it. Like I ain't gonna worry about it then. You know what, what? I'm saying. But in, in other news though, like we're planning like a trip to go out to. I'm like, all right, babe. Well, I'll grab the. You know what I'm saying? And when we get out there, like, oh, babe, I'll get the like at home. Like, well, you'll get the dinner. I'll get the dinner. Like, it depends. Like, but I was gonna ask you. I feel like, do you think that? Even those conversations, do you think that men are are scared to have that conversation with that woman when they need help? No. Um, that's one thing I can say about finances that is, is special in this relationship is the fact I'm very transparent, you know what I mean, like where I'm at and like let you know I'm working towards this, that, and the third, but then also be open with me, you know? And mm. it's like kind of like the conversations that we had, the roller coaster, you know what I mean? So like if you up I'm up, if I'm up, you up, you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, let me know if you down. So having those conversations, and it's not to say my girl's not down. I'm not, first and foremost, my girl's not down. But <laughs> that's just what you're trying to understand. No, but it happens like but sometimes. it's just a matter of like, I invited her on this trip. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's different. Like we, I was already going down here with this and I was like, yo, come with me to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. We're driving down there. So with that expectation of myself, it's like, I'm not going to put you in a situation where I already knew what I was getting myself mm-hmm. into, you know? So mm-hmm. having that understanding and that conversation helped. Yeah. But then we definitely talked about it. It's a, it's yeah. a matter of, I feel like being transparent. Yeah. And I think and sometimes it, as men, we might, because we have that Superman complex. Mm-hmm. It's like, I have to carry that on our back. But at the same time, I feel like, well, in our particular situation, we have women that are understanding and they know enough about us that they can see and they know when to step in or not step in mm-hmm. and be considerate at times. So I think my, I think it's the opposite with me though. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> right, so like, <laughs> I think I do have a hard time like communicating when I need help, oh, okay. right? And and I don't think that that is is um I don't want to say a man thing because clearly not, right? I just think that's a me thing. Like I always, I'm always trying to take care of everything, right? And when mm-hmm. I can't take care of everything, I'm trying to figure out a way of taking care of it. But 
what what that does is right because I won't ask for help. I'm expecting you. I'm ex, I'm expecting me out of somebody else, and that's mm-hmm. never right, right? So it's like, all right, bet. I, I might feel like you don't have to tell me when you need help because I can see it, right? But hey, maybe I just do a good job at masking when I need exactly. help. When and then you you can't tell. So for mm-hmm. me, when I need help, you might not know because of course I'm not going to tell you, and of yeah. course I'm doing everything that I can right. to to right. figure it out. But if you're not helping, now I'm upset. I'm upset. That's like some fucking Gemini shit, bro. How is that sometimes? <laughs> I just feel like y'all really think people are supposed to know what y'all thinking. Like, so another Gemini ain't say this at the live podcast? Yeah, so. Yeah, like I, and you was like, facts, I do. I'm thinking it. <laughs> yeah, like. And I feel like sometimes, like. Probably like Scorpio is never, y'all never forget. See that? Oh, no, like, we don't forget look, shit. Y'all. But yeah, I just feel like, you know, and it's, it's you know, we all got, you know, our shit. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I think you do mess well. That you don't need help, mm. like you know what I'm saying. So there's times I'm like, oh, let me get this because, like, you know, I think he deserves it. But it's never because I think he needs help because he never seems like he needs help until he like, you know. Do you feel like that's a Gemini thing, or because you had to kind of get it on your own growing up, like that you just mm. because you've grown up and you've been that, like you said before, like you got to get it. Like you, if you needed something, you go get it. You know what I'm saying? Is that because you've gone? through that phase over and over and over in life or no nah, i'm not even just, gonna lie i'm not even gonna give it that much credit like i just okay. think it's like uh, um <clears throat> you know i always I, i've been using this word lately and it's just like the um it's a uh emotional immaturity and i feel mm-hmm. like it comes from that because of like just where we are in life like you know we see again we talk i joke about it but like it is uh, insecurity as well right and, and to, to build your insecurities to to be more secure in yourself you got to work on your emotions, right? And I feel like, you know, like the world that we in, we in times where fucking real ass give up, like you got, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and if this nigga ain't doing this, this nigga ain't doing that, you know what I'm saying? And and this scammer and this scammer. So it's like, yo, I'm trying to do, I want to do everything in my, in my possible power, yeah. power to make sure you don't have to ever touch your dime or whatever the case may be. So it's like, mm-hmm. if I feel like you got to help or if you got to pay, mm-hmm. now it's like, damn, like, Shit, is it am like I, a reflection that yeah, I'm not there yet? Yeah, right. So like, just to be honest, and like, I, I, for me, because I'm, it's it's not that I'm okay with it. I'm just okay with who I am. Yeah, right. So it's yeah, like I know yeah. some people probably be like, yeah, that's just some weak nigga shit. But no, me, I don't not, care I mean, because yeah. like I'm able to like I uh-huh. I know where I like at where uh-huh. I need help at. So like I'm I'm okay with that, right? But it's something that I, I definitely I can see that's why, right? Like I, like I might want to do everything in my power, and if if I need help. For me to say that now, it's like I'm being vulnerable and, and I'm putting myself down, yeah. low, right? Like, and it's like that's hard to have that conversation with your woman. Is like, yeah, I need your help. Like, I need yeah. you to, like I'm saying now, because I'm, I'm scared to see how she's going to look at me, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, as a man, like I always want to be provide, looked at, yeah. right? I always want to be looked at as a king and a provider, mm-hmm. like the sole provider, right? And it's like if I tell you I need help, then am I a provider now, yeah. right? So I think like that's right. the. Yeah, but I think me. that's like it's like the kind of the same complex like that mothers have. Like we never think we're doing enough. Like no matter what we do, like it's never enough. Like now I gotta top what I did, top what I did, and I think like you know you're not abnormal for feeling that because I'm sure a lot of people feel like that. They just don't say it out loud. Like it's so many people who feel like. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, like, if I say I need help, does that make me look weak in my circumstance? Do I, is it, but it really doesn't. And I think that um, if more people could be that transparent, then it will allow everybody to kind of relate. Like, bro, like, like even when you was like, you know, my girl not down, as if, like, people don't get down. Not saying she is, but mm-hmm. we all got, like, I tell people, like, when you paying your bills and stuff like that, bro, you're not broke and you're not down. Nah, you just got exactly. priority and you got responsibility. Mm, when you're paying your, your car notes and your bills and you're doing what you have to do for your family, you're not bro, you are financially impaired because you've been taking care of your responsibilities. Like it, you know what I'm saying? But I can see where it causes so much pressure. Like, you know, that next thing is always coming out or that next you know, trip is trip, always yeah. going out. Like all of a sudden, you know, like when that wave of Tulum, then you switch from Tulum. Now it's, I don't know, St. Martin's. And you switch to St. Martin's. Now all of a sudden niggas in, I don't know, motherfucking but, but, Iceland. How, at the even, even, moon, like every year it changes. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you're looking at something, it's like, I gotta get, like I do it with my daughter all the time. Like, I'll go do the best birthday party and next year I'm like, what the fuck I'm going to do now? Because she need to know you, you feel that like I'm that's... that mama and I'm that person. So I just think it's one of those things that I think humans, like we always are on the path. You know, I, 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 this is the good thing I like about people is at the, end, at the end of the day, we're always trying to look for something better than what we did. And that's a sign that you are actually trying to be better than your current position. And I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I think it's okay to feel like, I'm trying, but I also think people need to realize like on your journey, like 
you're still like, even when you're like, I, I'm, I'm a king, I'm a fighter, you are, but there's also levels to that. Like, but you get what I'm saying? Like, it's when not, you, like, it's, I'm it's just, all of it. Again, I think y'all giving it too much credit because I'm just being real. Like, for me, it's not even that deep. Like, for me, I think it's more of a, uh, you know, um, what would they say? Shallow thing, honestly. Like, because it comes I, from like, see, like I'm just being real. Like, yeah, but you like don't, FOMO? No, but I like, feel like I, it is that deep. I though. think, I think it's not that deep because like me, like, all right, so like, and this is why I can have this conversation because me, I already know, like, I am who I am. Mm -hmm. I'm a provider, and if I can't, I can't. Right. But again, I can't ignore the human side of me that's just, when I, I feel like if social media wasn't around, if I wasn't engaging it so much, I probably wouldn't feel like that sometimes. You know what I'm saying? We got people like post like Justin LaBoy saying, always saying some like slick shit, and you got all these girls uh, reposting it, it and, and retweeting yeah, it saying, facts, facts, to, facts. Like, so, mm, but they cancel Justin. I'm, but, find, I'm starting oh, to petition. Niggas is trying to cancel. But Justin. look, we're gonna post that clip. You gonna post this too? Look, but but not, not see, see see for me it's like I don't I don't think niggas should cancel him right. <laughs> but I, I'm I'm shallow in the fact that it's like you don't want to fall into that category. No, when no, I'm shallow into the fact that I feel like I would fall into the category. Like, mm. but like you believe it? A nigga on Instagram writing tweets, girl, I give you that in real life. Like, like that's me. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, cause I'm always trying to one up every fucking thing. So it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I just feel that's like not. it's like it's like it's just shallow. I just feel like, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like seeing things on the internet, like seeing girls always talking about like, yeah, your nigga ain't paying you, like shit like that. It just be like, oh, so this is the standard. So it's like I'm almost chasing it's motivated. Is not, it motivation though? It's not motive. It's whack, honestly. I'm just be real. Like okay. I just feel like I'm chasing a um, I'm chasing a uh, uh, not impossible, but like a, a imaginary standard that mm. we we didn't create, right? Yeah. Like social media created this. Like mm. all this shit that's being posted on Twitter and Instagram, like this shit probably not even real. Like these niggas right. ain't really like you getting shit from a nigga that's scamming that might go to jail tomorrow. It's no security in that. Mm. But I can't lie. And say I'm, I don't be looking at that shit. Like I want to do that too. Like I mean, yeah. shit. If a yeah. nigga can do that for my girl, I want to be able to do that for my girl. And it is, it just is what it is, right? That's why I say I don't think it's that deep because I feel like everything that y'all saying is like is is deep. But the and only reason why I think it's that deep is because I feel like people have a hard time admitting it. I don't think it's that oh, yeah. deep for you because I feel like you can admit that and you can mm -hmm. sell on that because it's like you know I'm cool with you know what I'm saying. But I feel like it's a lot of people who don't reflect in that way or can't because they are still trying nah I gotta do it this way I gotta do it this right. way you know what I'm saying and you know they put all this pressure on themselves you know to impress that girl or to impress that guy or to do all these things that are out of their reach right now mm. maybe not permanently but just right now and um like I said like it's it's only that deep to me because I know people feel like that but they can't express it mm. like you know what I'm saying because of embarrassment or they don't want to they don't want to look weak or they don't want to look broke or they want to look look you know what I'm saying but you know, that's me giving you your flowers. Like, that's good that you have transparency like that, baby. That's very attractive Aww. about you. I love you for that, baby. So, <laughs> there's a saying that says, uh, couples who travel together stay together. And it was seven benefits of traveling with your partner. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to run it through and see if y'all agree with them. Okay. I'm going to tell y'all why after the fact. But All right, give me one by one. So, so one, mm -hmm. creates new memories. Agreed. Uh, two, it makes you stronger as a couple. Three, it improves your communication abilities. Four, it helps each other. It helps you learn about mm -hmm. each other. Five, it makes you feel safe. Six, understand each other's limitations. Mm -hmm. And then seven, increases the romance within the relationship. Mm -hmm. mm. And I will say I agree with that. You know, I'm big on like, I'm just big on travel in general. Like with your bae, by yourself, with your girls, with your kid, with your mama. I think traveling is just a part of just... It taps you into just different experiences. Like you say, it's the memories that you hold. It's the experience that you gain, the cultures that you see, you know, how people do things on the West Coast, how people do things on the East Coast, different personalities, and it makes you adaptable. Let me, so, ask, let me ask you this. Yeah. I mean to cut you mm -hmm. off. What's the most important one on there for you? Which one that stood for out me, the most? Or not even most for important, me, but what stood out the most? list specific for relationship, I think... Um, the one that probably stands out to me is that I got a tie. So I got a tie between the memories and I got a tie between it, it, it increasing the bond. Um, I think it says it makes it stronger. Um, the reason why, because I think I am a firm believer, like, you know, like, you know, the same way they say about like, you really don't know people until you see them in 
like certain, certain setting. situations or yeah, certain yeah. settings. And I think, um, honestly, I agree with a lot of the list because like, I think even traveling with a partner, like there's so many, traveling in general is so fun, but it's also very dangerous. Like, you know what I'm saying? Especially depending where you're going. And I think, you know, like for example, even just traveling with Jay, I've seen numerous of reasons why I'm safe with Jay. You know what I'm saying? Like that, like I'm not, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, between our trip to Cali, between our trip to Mexico, like, <laughs> between, like, shit, I, just many trips in between. Like, I know that I'm protected and, like, you know, we could travel and I don't, I can travel and have a good time because I know I'm in the right hands. Um, And I think just feeling safe with anybody, like, builds the bond stronger, like, because I think that's a big part of the bond. I have to feel safe. Um, and then I think it's experience because I feel like, you know, so much of times we could get caught up in day to day life. And I think a lot of people either, you know, they can't unfortunately afford to travel or they don't have the time to travel. And I think that it puts you outside of that norm, like that regular day to day, that regular. So we can really say we had a moment and we experienced this and we experienced it together. You already had so many experiences before we were in a relationship, like, depending on what you, you know what I'm saying? Just in general, like you've experienced this and that, but me and you experienced this. Like these are the things we can build off from like, hey, remember that time we went to Dubai and rah, rah, rah. Remember that one time, yo, it was crazy. Like, and I think like even in friendships that like, friendships in your relationship that builds a bond. Cause it's like, yo, we always got like our own little insider or we always got our one little moment. Like remember that time, like da, 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 I was fucked up. You broke your pinky toe in Mexico. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, Little things that we'll always be able to identify and um, laugh at or share, you know what I'm saying, with other people. And I think that's just important to have. Like. I, I think for me, what stood out the most, the first thing, the one that stood out the most was make you feel safe. And I think because it's like kind of the opposite of, mm -hmm. of what she was thinking. And I feel like, you know, you, you always want to be, I feel like in relationships, you always want to be included in every single thing, mm -hmm. right? And I just feel like it's normal. But I, I, even when I got, I talk about Sade traveling, I think part of that is is that 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 being scared of like you not knowing what your partner is doing because my partner is lit or whatever. My partner look good, so it's like, man, I don't know what the fuck she's doing, who she's doing it with, with. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I feel like when you're traveling with your partner is. You, that is your safe space. Like you know what's going on in that moment. Like you, like you can, you can see it. You can feel it. You, and then it, it makes you feel comfortable when they do travel alone. It's like okay, I've been with them in yeah, these situations, so I know how you right? Exactly. So like I think that stood out to me the most just because of that. What, what, what stood out to you the most when you, when you even was looking this up? Like what was like? Oh, that's learning your partner. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because we're new, mm -hmm. you know, and it's mm -hmm. like because like I alluded to earlier, life moves so fast, you right? Know? But really having a moment where you could, we're in a hotel, there's nobody around. Like, mm -hmm. we're hearing stories and this, that about each other. And it's just like, wow, yeah. you're really a dope person. You yeah. know, it's just like yeah. you're learning about. But it's like, yeah. Especially it's just on really a road learning. trip. Exactly. Oh, my God. It's so much time you know I mean? and so much intentional it's conversation. Intimate. It's, it's yeah. intimate. It's really just a moment where you can learn. But then also limitations. Yeah. You know, like to see what you can and cannot do. Yeah. because. It's all about being vulnerable. Yeah. And certain times, like you said, it's in a shallow, state of shallowness. We want to be able to do everything. Right. But the reality is, like, you there's can't. certain things we can't do. It right. is what and it you is. just got to be real with yourself. Yeah. But it's like, I may not be able to do it in this season, right. but it could be motivation to and, get and me look, to that in the next exactly, season. And that's exactly. what I'm looking at it as far as the limitations. Like, all right, we may not have been able to go here, here, or there the well, this time. time but best believe next right, time we come right. down here, all right, bet we clean it up. You know yeah. what I mean? But yeah. And I think that's why, even what you just said, right? I think that's why I'm so okay with saying it, right? Because I under, like I like in my heart, I know that you can't do everything, right? Mm -hmm. But I also know that I want to be able to do everything. So exactly. I think it's that's why it's okay. It's all right. motivation, bro. That's why I think it's okay for me yeah. to uh it's okay for me to say that because like <clears throat> I know I can't do everything. You know what I'm saying? But it's like shit, that don't that ain't stopping me wanting to want yeah. to do everything. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, uh, no, I agree. You could toss it. Yeah, I I I uh I um was smashing my shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, I, I got a little scared. Too. I had to relax for a second. No, I've been but, having a rough um, couple of days now. You said what I'm happened? Scared of liquor now. Yeah, we've been lit. We've been lit. But it's funny because you all both you both said uh, you said creating memories. And, no, you well, said it was a safe. tie between safe, but um. But you so know. this one, according to the website mm -hmm. Pink Villa, shout out Pinkvilla dot com, it says all of your memories of yourself and your partner could be in the same place, the same old restaurants, cafes, and park. But doing new things and going to new places and experiencing new culture. 
helps you in creating new memories and enables you to recollect interests and to see it for trips for years to come. Yeah. Mm. So it's just not just creating it for passions, but then so you know. Like we created this memory. Let's create more in, yeah. in this type of capacity. It kind of opens that door to and, like... And it's funny yeah. that you alluded to it, like when you feel safe because it kind of... This spoke on that. Yeah. It says you're in a new city or country and are surrounded by people you don't even understand. Sometimes the same language even. Yeah. It said it is. it can be daunting, but having someone close who you trust and know will protect you matters. Traveling alone sounds fun and exciting, but traveling with your partner means that you can be safe even if things go bad. I mm. love it. Yeah. So it's funny that she had that, that those, both of those. And then yeah. uh, for the limitations, it says traveling and creating travel plans involves a lot of research, planning, and advance notice. It can be hectic if you want the trip to be seamless, which mm-hmm. it almost never is. Yeah, exactly. But one of, the, one of you might go, might be super organized while mm-hmm. the other one might try to go with the flow. But creating a travel plan and making a uh, making the trip, you understand each other's limitations and drawbacks mm-hmm. to work towards being Agreed. better for each other and complement each other's roles. Mm-hmm. Yes. And that I agree is very important because we super definitely see important. how we complement and how where we you know where one falls short and where yeah. the other one picks up because that I saw that definitely. Yeah, because I think. Oh, uh, go ahead. What you think? Where you think I fall Jay short? At? Travel plans are trash, bro. How? Have, like, you, been, have you have you been having fun? Yes. Okay. Do, okay. So I never said he's not a closer. Jay is absolutely a closer. He's a three point shooter at the buzzer. He is going to make it happen. I am not saying that. Like one thing he's going to do is he's going to get it done. My anxiety though, mm. like baby, I need to see the rundown. I need to see the itinerary. I need to know where this is going so that way we can make room for mishaps in between it. So like it's hard for me because like I am so functioned on that. However, because Jay always closes and it always turns out fine, I always have to like put it to the side because I'm like, I know it's going to turn out fine. It's going to turn out fine. However, my anxiety does not allow me to process that in the beginning because I'm like, Yo, okay, so where, but why, and when, and what time, and how we getting there, and what we going to, what time we picking up the rental, what time we got to check into the Airbnb, after that, where are we going, what places we did we reserve for, so we ain't going to eat, like, I need to know some things, and if I don't, like, I am upset, like. So, that's interesting, because you know I'm that upset. about yourself, Yeah, and I'm sure you feel it at times, so how do you, <laughs> knowing that, because you know your partner, how do you maneuver through that? Like no, he doesn't. Sure he continues to be a closer. She, that she <laughs> closed. Like, how do you like? Does that go Jay's to the shallowness? Jay's like, I know you're or? like that, but trust me, I'm gonna still do that. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's confused. Like, mm-hmm. I, it kind of be like I don't understand sometimes because, it's like, my first thought was like, okay, if you know I'm a closer, why does like why does this bother you so much? Why can't you just? Because it gives me peace. Okay. It gives me peace. It gives it rests my anxiety. Like that's why. Like even like like my girl trip is so different than this trip. Like Ashley already has an itinerary. She's had it two weeks ago. Okay, I still mm. only for another two weeks. So she has a whole itinerary list of places we're going. She already has reservations made, and that's the difference between women. And it's like yes, I feel at ease because I know what to pack. I know what shoes to bring. I know how to be comfortable for this day. I know what, what to wear for this day. I'm prepared. I know, like, you know what I'm saying? I know what I need and I know how to prepare myself. And it's so crazy because, you know, you work on content. You content. You know how important preparation is when you are doing your thing. You know how it just makes the situation a lot more simple than it has to be. But in real time, like, when it's stuff like traveling or plans, Jay be like, come on, just fuck it. We just going to figure it out. And I'll be like, oh, my God. God, please, I can't just do it like that. You know, so it does right now because I know that Jay's a closer. I just let him do his thing because honestly, bitch, I'm not about to keep arguing with him. But <laughs> but because I know he's going to complete the task and it's like, I just let it go. But I'm going to need you to help me too because you got to rest some of my anxiety because so- sometimes I be stressed out. Like I'm like, Jay. And then Jay is a Gemini. One trait that, tell me if I'm lying, write in the comments, let me know, at me, I'm going to fuck. We all know that Gemini has one trait that they all carry as well is indecision. They are super indecisive. indecisive. And that gives me anxiety because I'm like, because I feel like a lot of us going with the flow is because Jay's like, he doesn't, he's not sure which way he wants to go yet. And he's not going to know until that very moment. And I'm like, bro, so what if at that very moment you pick that and I got to change my shoes? I don't got the fucking right shoes. Like, cause you like, I, I need to know. Cause like, am I supposed to be comfortable for this? Do I need heels for this? Do I got to dress it up like this? For the, I need, 
I need to know. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's the only reason why I know. Somebody (laughs) smack your back. Oh, yeah, because Taylor, feel me, bro. She feel me. She coughing. She dying because she feel me because we're dying inside. That's why. But my my thing is, you got to communicate that to me. You never, like, this is my first time ever hearing you tell tell me that that gives you anxiety. That you that no, I've said it, but I don't think you realize that it really was real. Like, I think I just said it. You like, you think I'm just saying, like, you know how people play, like, oh my god, I got anxiety. I be dead as serious. Like that shit. I've never really heard you me. say that gives you anxiety. I've said like, oh my god, you're stressing me out. So yeah, I've never. I yeah, yeah. To me, it's all the same. Like, uh, but and you're right. I may have never broken it down like that, but it really does stress me out. Like, and you know, like I come from a household of OCD. My mom's super OCD, so to a degree, I took that on. Mm. Never really admitted that till I got older when I seen how I move certain things I'm like oh my god like I have to like please put it this way or my insides are literally crumbling like that's the first time I realized like yo I really do have some form of anxiety but like one thing for me for me to feel a part of me feeling safe is understanding a part of my understanding comes with a plan like I have to see some form of plan and I'm not saying the plans can't change I just need to know a certain level of plans like so like sometimes like going with the flow does give me like unnecessary heebie-jeebies i think my my so that was the downside of me mm-hmm. when traveling mm-hmm. i think my downside of sade when traveling is her excessive excessive need to want to do everything <laughs> like that shit gives me anxiety it's like bro <laughs> Understand me and where I'm at right now. I'm like, I can't because you're not honest about it. Nah. Admit it, yeah. that. Yeah. So that, and nah, that's facts. exactly why. That's probably true. <laughs> it's, it's probably true. Right. Nah, it's probably it's, true. It's, but like, it's, I, I probably but do be giving you anxiety. That shit with it. stress me out because I be trying to like, every, like I literally, I'm trying to do everything because I know she wants to do everything. But it's like I can't, and it's like I don't even want to say I can't because then she gonna look at me funny. It's like I don't know but what I'm the fuck. But I'm never gonna look at you funny. But I see, sh- I was about to say that. Yeah, I was about to ask you that. Do you feel like as men, we try to think ahead about what our woman's gonna think about a particular yeah, but situation? But don't think for me. I'm the woman. Let me think for me. Why are you trying to think me? I was just gonna ask think you. you. Think I like do that. you. Like I be trying to yeah, think like, ahead. Yeah, like okay, how she gonna? But the thing is, she y'all will never. This if I don't have y'all are this. never going to know. That's and that's my biggest thing with that. It's like you guys are trying to already figure out how we're gonna take something how we're gonna deal with it how we're gonna react you really don't know because it's really up to whatever mood we're in and you're never going to be able to decide that you're never gonna know what mood we're in like period you don't even know what time y'all niggas don't even remember what time of the month we come on every month we come on the same 28 oh i know oh i know i know i know i know i don't know the date no 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 no, no, no. i know the area so 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 i don't know the date but i know once we start having a, a, a argument a really bad argument it's about that time. Yeah, Podcast it's over. Okay. It's full shit. And I'm going to tell you so why. So, so. I'm going to tell you why. Because a lot of us don't PMS for like a week before or two weeks before. It really can vary, right? So, can so I, sometimes, sometimes you're actually wrong. Sometimes you are right. I so, will so give right. you that. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. But sometimes hold up, hold up, we're up. actually going to have one hold then up. and we're going to have one closer hold up, hold to the hold time. Up, hold up, hold up, hold and up, hold up. And he doesn't even realize that. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. We got two. Two, two of those. So you said sometimes, right? Let me ask you. And I want you to be completely honest. Don't, don't, Don't try to show up for the cameras. I am. Have I been right for the majority of the time? Not majority. You have been right 50% of the time. Wow. So you're not going to give me that? I think we just had no, that conversation. No, we, we had the conversation down, and you was like, that sometimes you're right. But no, you now like, you just try to throw in the majority. See, majority. when I don't agree with his majority, now he doesn't so like, I, it's the percentage. No, no, fair. So not, that, that's what I'm saying. But that's fair. That's what I'm saying. So it's just the percentage. It's when not 70-30 here. It's not giving us It's not 80-20. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. It could be 45-55. So when I ask you, when I ask you, when I ask That's you, not it. Right. When I ask you in the in the room, right, and and we broke down the times that we had real bad arguments, right, and it was uh, what's that? If you only gave me two arguments, you didn't go. You know how many arguments we had? How many arguments you think you had in your relationship this year alone? I mean, shit, it's only no, 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 no. I never said that. I didn't say arguments. I said real bad arguments. That's what I said. Okay, I said, even okay, real bad arguments. Even if even if we had five a year, you're not telling me that two point five of those on my life. I will, we can, I, I can, I'm able to go back. So you're saying if we had five arguments, you're saying that three or two and a half. Or four. Or you're saying four of those. I don't agree with that. It was I, right I before. I don't agree I with that. I swear, I'm I willing to that. bet my bottom There's no way you dollar. can, so you it's, it's dumb. Like, you know, you know, you know how you I know? You don't. No, 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 know how I know? How you Personally, know? for the majority, right? Because I, I, I'm not. Exactly. God. But what I'm saying you is, I can, I can, again. I can, I can go back and look at the really big arguments and right. remember those were the times when you were about to 
And that's how, you know how I know? Because I didn't even know, and I'm, I'm not trying to be insensitive, insensitive but we're just talking about, no, 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 I'm saying how I know. How I know is I, I never even knew what PMSing was. I remember when I first found out what it was, I found out because we was coming, it, we was coming off of a, a really bad argument and she was saying that I'm PMS and I'm like, I never even, I never understood. You never thought about you, it? Yeah, I never, I thought like, I thought women get on that period and then like, that's when their emotions change and things like, I, I, I never knew that. So when I found out, I'm like, okay, I need to have more patience and I need to be more patient in these moments because th th this is when their emotions are really like okay. tightened. Right. Am, am I lying? Like, I, I, I never knew this. Like, I, I right. never knew nothing about However, that. However, you're saying if we had five, that four of them was because three. of that. Okay, three. I would say three. I, I, would, I would say three. I'll give you 2.5, but I'm not giving you all right, three. So, and I, and no, you know what? That's and, and, fine. And, and, that's and, fair and, because that's still majority. And that's all majority. I'm saying. No, it's not. You said 2.5 is 2. 5 majority. 2.5 is five. Oh, no, 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 no. Hell no, yeah. no. Yeah, exactly. No, 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 Traveling with Bay. Oh, you good? It was wet under that. What the fuck? <laughs> My bad. Episode so, 62. Yo. <laughs> Gem Gemini Scorpio podcast. We in the A. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna love us out here one of these days. Don't even worry. Because we coming down here. We finna take it over. Right. Don't even worry. I couldn't give the energy I wanted today. But you're a still a phenomenal personality. Ooh, thank you. It took it to the A. Episode 62. Ticket to the A. Traveling you with Bay. You already know the vibes. You already know it's a wrap. And we then out. we out.